Hey everyone, how are y'all doing? Um, you're going to notice there's no making video because I recorded, or so I thought, and there was nothing. I did not press the button properly, so I thought I was recording when I didn't. So all we're going to have is the cut. So, better something than nothing, I guess. And now this one... Um, I used a, a mold that I don't use very often. It's uh, this one here. It's still dirty because I took this out of the mold. It's uh, Crafter's Choice. Just the liner 1503. And they do sell a wooden mold um, to go with it. But Steve made me one anyway. So this one seems to hold around the four pound mark somewhere around there. I don't have the exact amount. It does say on the site what it holds. Anyway, I don't have my paper in front of me so I can't give you the number, but anyhow I ended up making a little bit more than the size of the mold and this was right up to the top of the mold. There was no peaks or anything like that. And uh, so yeah, now the scent I used was this one. I never used either one before so I use this one from Nature's Garden, Sun, Moon, and Stars, and it's supposed to be the Women's Perfume for Eternity, the Eternity Dupe, I believe. But I didn't have quite enough, that was a four ounce bottle, I didn't have quite enough, so I added just a wee bit um, of this one from Rustic Essentials, which smells really nice too. So I added that. Now this one, um, from reviews said it did rice a little bit and it did end up ricing on me this batch a little bit as well but uh, the way my batter was going I didn't want to stick blend anymore it was very minor ricing but we'll see inside if it did anything wonky and yeah and my colors were all matte oils this time so pot of gold Harold's Purple Crayon and Dragonfly Blue. That was it and then uh, my base I, I colored it up with some TD um, but the uh, Sun, Moon and Stars is supposed to discolor a little bit to like a, a beige or a very light beige so I wasn't expecting a white just to lighten it up more than it was going to end up. So let's see what we got. Why did I put my why did I put my soap sideways instead of the top? I'm gonna to switch that around in a minute if you'll bear with me. So all I did was a drop swirl. That's a pretty cool one. Ah, you see? Right there. For those of you who have not experienced ricing, so you'll get little pockets like this. But if it's not too bad, it should just dissipate and reabsorb. It'll be just fine once it's cleaned up. What a cool design right there. Let me just switch this around. What am I thinking? Oh, my mold on sideways. Really, Rachel? Bad enough when I, I took this out, I almost dropped it. I literally lost my control of the uh, soap and just about dropped it. My heart skipped a beat all right or two. So hopefully there's not too much ricing wrath inside here. But that's what happened, you know. If I would have beat it a little more, I would have been too thick for what I was trying to do. But sometimes it's best to try and beat it out. Because from the reviews, apparently the ricing is minor and comes out rather easily with a, a quick blend with the stick blender. So as I was saying, before I realized I screwed up, there's the little glitter. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, I did a drop swirl. That's it. Well, that's weird. Look at the way that is right there. Reminds me of like a um, tree root or a tree branch, something like that. Pretty cool. I like it. 
I've never done these three colors together. I don't believe anyways. I don't recall making that combination. I'm trying to get all my stuff done today. Get a free day tomorrow to go fishing. So I'm pretty excited. I like it. Interesting drop swirl. Try to get out fishing once a month if, if we can. It's just a lot of fun. Good thing I have soap when I get back, because boy oh boy, get pretty stinky out there. Yeah, it really bites that I wasn't recording. Jeez. And this one has goat milk in this soap. We had to go out and do some errands today, and when we were out at uh, Costco, stock up on some of our meat, we were parked beside a, um, a cart corral. We normally just take a cart from there and then go inside. Well, somebody had left something they purchased in the cart. Some really cool looking light bulbs. Looked like they were expensive. Expensive ones. So we just brought it back in to customer service just in case they decided to come back and say, hey, where's my bulbs? So hopefully they figure it out. Just glad it wasn't meat or something they left behind sitting in the Florida sun baking. That would have been nasty. So, you know, there's not a whole lot other than I'm going to cut each one because they're all going to be different. But I'm sure you might get bored and want to move along. That's okay. But I figured, you know, I might as well share at least the last part of this. I have so many videos to post, but I have to edit them all. And those of you who edit your videos understand what I'm talking about. It takes so much time. You know, each video can take three hours. Easy just to get them all edited so that it's not so long for you to watch. So I'm torn sometimes whether just to upload the whole thing as is so I can give you some videos to watch or sit and wait until I get the time to edit them. Now I say I have several. Some of my soaps have cured since these videos were made. That's how long I have a hard time finding the time to do it. So again, I'm torn. Do I leave it long and you can just kind of fast forward through or do I cut them up into shorter vids? You can uh, say your piece below on it and let me know. I know you can't please everybody. Some don't want you to talk. Some want you to talk. Some want you not to talk so much. Blah, 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 blah. So if I'm talking too much right now, the ones that don't like talking are going to say, shut up, right? Well, that is the problem. So, yeah, do not know what to do. Makes it so hard to get everything edited. Because I'm not that, um, you know, tech savvy, so it takes me a while. I think that's part of the problem. If I was to leave them run at full at full tilt unedited, they're probably a good 40-45 minutes long just on a regular vid. Because I think mine normally run at least 15 to 25 minutes and that's edited. So I try to get rid of the dead space in the videos as much as I can. I'm really loving these swirls. And the colors seem to be pretty true from the, the jars of the mica. Let's see. I'll, um, I know the video might not be quite the same. But there's the uh, 
Harold's Purple Crayon, just to compare a little bit, and the Pot of Gold Yellow. I know sometimes you guys are looking for a certain color, so sometimes this helps. And this is the Dragonfly Blue, so I think it held pretty much true to what's in the jar. I guess give or take on how much you put in really matters. If you don't put enough, it's going to be lighter and put too much, maybe darker. And this fragrance blend here, I mean, it's mainly the uh, Sun, Moon, and Stars fragrance. There was very little of the pineapple and jasmine, but it was still enough to make it rice. So far, I'm not seeing much of anything um, like that first cut I had with the uh, little bit of the fragrance seeping. So that should just go away. Um, but the uh, acceleration part, there was no problem there with any accelerating. And it's a pretty scent. I don't know if I'd order it again. I'll know more once it um, it cures to see how it holds. It's pretty, but I don't know if I'm gaga over it, but I really like it. It's more of a perfumey kind of scent. You really, you really do pick up the jasmine. And it's very soft. It's not harsh, but it's, it's there. I would say it's like a, a medium, medium scent for sure. And I'm not going to do the cleaned up picks of these soaps at the end this time, just so I can get it uploaded, you know, because this one, I don't think I'm going to edit this video. Since we're on the topic of, I'm just going to darn well just put it up there. Yeah. And we'll give these a test at the Sunday market once they're ready. So, okay, there's another little... See right there? A little seepage there. And that's what happens when it's ricing. Uh, it balls up like that with the scent. That's why you want to try and get that out of there and not leave the lumps in. Because you can have yourself a real hot mess if there's a lot of serious ricing. Sometimes it won't go away, but this is just very minor, so it doesn't really harm the soap. It's just not pretty to look at. And that's just a small end piece. So there we have it, folks. So, thanks for listening, and let me know what you think. Editing, not editing, blah, 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 you know. Obviously, total rudeness is just not going to fly. No need to be rude and ugly about everything. Um, but, you know, I'd love to hear what your feedback is, and what's most important to you. So anyway, till next time, bye-bye.